And we have some good news for all you beachgoers out there. For the first time in a long time, the Silver Strand is back open and once again safe for users. That's right. CBS 8's Kelly has it all. She is live there right now with the latest on this, as well as an update on also those beaches that are still closed. Hi, Kelly. That's right. You know, this is good news for people who love to come out here and enjoy the beach. If you take a look right now, you can see there are some folks out here right now enjoying the sand, enjoying the water. Now, over the weekend, uh, the county declared that it is safe to get back in the water here at the Silver Strand shoreline. Uh, I talked to a gentleman who said uh, he saw it on the San Diego Beaches app this morning uh, that it was back open. Here's what he told me. When it's open, it's like a, everybody's excited. Beach is open and to be excited because the beach is open should be a normal thing. And so here is the sign out front as you come into Silver Strand State Beach uh, declaring that the beach water is open. The county says over the weekend the water was tested and that it meets state health standards for safety. So Bayside Park shoreline is also back open as well. However, Imperial Beach and the Tijuana Slough remain closed. Uh, bacteria levels are still just too high. Uh, the man you just heard from Milton Boyle, he's a military veteran and he actually lives three blocks from the ocean in Imperial Beach, but yet he has to drive up to Coronado and OB just to go in. He says it's sad to live so close to the water but not be able to use it. He says the smell is really bad. South Bay beaches have been closed for more than 500 days due to cross-border pollution. A lot of the residents and business owners are frustrated. Boyle says the U.S. government needs to work with Mexico to fix the problem. If they could put a man on the moon, I'm hoping they could fix a sewage problem. And tomorrow, the County Board of Supervisors will be holding a public meeting to potentially declare a local state of emergency when it comes to South Bay beaches. And if that happens, they will be requesting that the federal government step in and help out. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.